Hi, in this video, I am going to talk about uh, a particular type of time series uh, process known as the ARMA process. Okay, um, from the name itself, we know that it has got both AR component as well as the MA component. So, it's a combination of the AR series and um, MA series. Okay, so when we combine both AR and MA, you uh, form one type of uh, time series process known as the ARMA process. Okay, so uh, when we expand uh, it, we, we call it as autoregressive uh, moving average process. Okay, so it's a process that combines both uh, AR and MA process. Okay, so how do we uh, represent it mathematically? Well, we represent like this YT, which is the uh, you know time series for current time period is a combination of an intercept uh, and then it has got several um, you know uh, AR terms uh, lags of yt yt minus 1 yt minus 2 and so on till yt minus p and then uh, several uh, residual terms as well okay so ut minus 1 ut uh, minus 2 uh, up to ut minus p uh, remember, UT is a white noise process in this case. So you have got uh, the uh, you know the uh, AR terms. Uh, you also got the uh, MA terms. Okay, so these are the uh, MA terms. So it has got combination of both. Hence, most of the characteristics of um, an uh, ARMA process will have combination of both AR and MA uh, you know characteristics. All right. So when you R2, uh, you know, uh, so when you combine AR and MA together, you uh, uh, form an ARMA series, right? Now, the main question is, uh, like, do we really uh, come across such cases where we just, uh, you know, a certain time series uh, follow uh, um, uh, or it, it ex exhibits some sort of, uh, you know, both uh, properties? Yes, we do come across cases. And how do we detect such such cases? We'll use the same uh, functions that we have been using for AR and MA, which is ACF and the PACA functions. So we have learned what is ACF and PACA functions uh, in the previous videos. So how do we detect an ARMA process? For an ARMA process, the ACA function as well as the PACA function both exhibit uh, a geometrically declining um, you know curve uh, declining uh, you know ACF and PACF so the autocorrelation as well as the partial autocorrelation will geometrically decline with uh, lags okay so this these are lags in the uh, x-axis this is also lags in the x-axis so you know lag 1 lag 2 and so on uh, similarly here lag 1 lag 2 and so on uh, you, will, you will find that um, the ACF and the PAC both are geometrically declining in this case. And when you get this property, uh, you know, both declining ACF and CPAC, it's, it's uh, clear that it's, a, uh, it's following an ARMA. Um, okay. So this is, uh, you know, it's important to note the, uh, the role of PACF in this case. Remember, in, in the AR process, uh, the ACF function also uh, it behaves like this. It it also has a, a, a geometrically declining, uh, 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 you know, pattern. So uh, you might get confused just by looking at the ACF of uh, ACA of a um, uh, ARP series and ARMA PQ series. All right. Why? Because they exhibit similar uh, ACF uh, pattern, right? Only after looking at the PACF, you will be sure about whether it's an AR process or it's an ARMA process. Because in AR process, you will have the PACF will have, you know, it it, it has certain value uh, until, uh, you know, P uh, lags and then it becomes zero, right? It totally becomes zero. It doesn't have a geometrically uh, declining uh, PACF, rather it has very... Uh, Mm, you know, uh, it has non-zero or si non significant PAC value still the P lacks uh, if it is a uh, ARP process and then it suddenly becomes zero, right? And that's the difference how you can, you know, use both PC SAF and PACF to, you know, differentiate between uh, uh, ARP process and ARMA, uh, uh, you know, process. Remember one thing I forgot to tell you, how do we come across, uh, uh, come up with this, uh, you know, ARMA peak and Q thing? 
okay so p represents for the number of lags for uh, the uh, air uh, you know the air terms and q represents the number of lags for the uh, the residual terms okay so in the previous slide when we saw that we have got terms for air uh, air we have got air terms like yt minus 1 which are like lags of the same time series yt minus 2 and so on and we have got p uh, lags for yt and then we have got uh, sorry we should have q here so we have q lags uh, for the residual terms so we call this as a arma pq series okay because we have got p uh, as uh, terms and then q um, ma terms okay so it's a arma pq series okay so these are the uh, you know represents the lag, corresponding lags for the uh, yt and ut respectively all right so that's about arma process so in, in the next video we'll uh, learn how do we uh, you know detect uh, ar ma and arma processes by looking at the uh, different uh, you know visualized plots uh, of acf and uh, pacf how negative terms uh, negative coefficient do make a difference in the uh, uh, in the plots will will uh, learn that because when you do a time series analysis you are not sure or before uh, i mean you are not sure in the beginning itself that what kind of model you are trying to build so it could you know take some sort of um, uh, an analysis before you can be sure of what a process your data really follows so it's important to visualize so in the next video you will see a lot of these visualized plots to uh, understand how the different time series processes behave um, uh, you know uh, differently okay so you can subscribe to our channel and you know you can also go to our website for uh, blogs and more content thank you